Hey guys, so this is the Bamboo Lab P1S, which I got on a Black Friday sale from Bamboo. Let's see, let's set it up. What it does, what it looks like, how fast it is, it is to set up. So what you do is just grab it and pull it up. This is it right here. Okay, so I have it on the box now. Let's start getting into it. The box did came like puncture dented. So I hope it's okay, but they did do a pretty good job packing it. So I'm not too worried about it. So looking around it, it doesn't seem to have any dents or scratches. Just the top glass. 3D printer quick start guide. I'm gonna just put this to the side for now. So it stays closed and there's magnets here and here, here and here. These are all the accessories. Okay, so let's take a look at the accessories. So the top cover and the front door, they're glass. So what they give you as a quick start guide, they give you a little bit of filament, it's not a lot. In my case I got the green one, it's PLA. It's the Bowden tube, the AC cable, filament support holder that screws onto the back. I don't know if I'm going to use this. Some safety guides, the front LCD, and this last box here. So we get a bunch of screws. This is, these are for the spool holder. These are for printed phone holder. So for the scraper, a new hot end, 0.4 stainless steel one. Some wiper rollers. These are for the hot end. Maintenance grease, a small Allen key. These are for the extruder. And this is just a needle for unclogging. And another Allen key. Okay, so what you're supposed to do first is remove the cardboard from the tool head. Zip ties. On the poop chute here, we just remove that one. Now we remove the 
cardboard from the extruder from the tool head. Now we can install the spool holder on the back here. This is where the filament goes through. This is where you put the spool holder. That screw, and there's two screws provided, so you can mount it here. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let's see what else we got in here. So there's a box the boat model component kit. So you have a little boat motor. You can print the boat. Let's open it up. You just wind it. Let's remove this other piece. Okay, so that was it. So I'm guessing that little boat motor is the free gift, unfortunately. Okay, so there's some foil here. Let's remove this one. This is where the SD card is. This is the cable for the LCD screen. There's some foam underneath this PI sheet, which we're gonna remove after, after the initial calibration. You can't now because it's stuck down there. And we also need to remove three screws. One is here, the other one is here, and the third one there. We'll just use the provided Allen key. This is the last one, the last screw. Also, this is where the carbon filter is located. Okay, I'm gonna set it up and run the initial calibration, but first, I forgot, we need to install the small LCD screen. I need to plug this in, I can do it with one hand. Okay, so I managed to plug it in. Now let's just slide it on. I'm guessing that cable tucks in there like that. Okay. Now let's plug it in. So this is the bag. This is where your cut filament comes out of, the little pieces. This is where you can put the spool holder. I'm not gonna use it, I think. This is where you fit the filament through into the printer. Okay, I'll just plug it in, turn it on, and follow the on-screen instructions, and let's print something. Okay, so I just plugged it in, and I went through the setup. I needed my phone for that. I needed Bluetooth, and you need your internet SSID to be discoverable in the settings of your router. Okay, so I went through that, and now we're just gonna go through the menu. Let's start a self-test. It's now self-testing. moving the table up and down. There's a lot of grease there. And now we can remove these foam pieces. These are the last ones to remove. Okay. So this PEI sheet is textured. There's a light there. It's not very bright in there. There's also a camera there. This is gonna take a while, I'll be back. Okay, so the self-test is done, it took about five minutes. 
now it's asking me about a firmware wide update, so we're just gonna go ahead and update it. Okay, so the firmware was successfully updated. Let's confirm that. We need your help to improve printing. Scan the code to learn more, join or skip. Skip. Okay, it's ready to print. Let's print something. Let's go down. Let's print, uh, oh no, first we need element. Let's go to fitting. I'm gonna hit load. Okay, we should be pushing the filament. There's limited access here. PLA filament, so I see that it's heated to 250. Retry. Let's see if it pushes it. It's finally going now, so that took a few tries. So I fed it manually so hard that this loading tube became undone here. Just pushed it back and it retry another time. And it went out pretty okay. So it's now loaded. Let's see. Let's say that it's done. Let's go back. Go to the builds, scraper, grip. Yeah, let's print that one and see. When printing PLA, you're supposed to have the main door open and possibly also the top, depending on your temperature. So Bamboo Lab PLA. It's not Bamboo Lab, it's generic, but let's try it. With the generic one with uh, bamboo labs settings i didn't clean the plate maybe i should have we're gonna try it so it's doing the bed leveling now and this is the very first print i chose the scraper and i didn't put bamboo lab filament in so this is a test so let's see if this filament will stick so far, so good. Oh, that's fast now. Okay, so it seems to be printing really well, even with an um, off-brand filament. I've set it to 50% speed, so silent speed. Just so I can watch it more closely, but until now we printed it in standard, which was really fast. And it, it was like down to 15 minutes, and now I've selected silent, and it bumped it up half an hour. So if we go to the speed and set it to standard again. You can see it's way faster, but it shakes a ton. And now it shows only 44 minutes. It took like a few seconds to update the time. Okay, so the print is done. The plate is cold. Looks really good so far. This is not bamboo filament. Okay, let's assemble it. Okay, so this is the print. We're gonna assemble it. Looks really good. On the holder here, there is some ringing. 
I'm guessing it's because of this thing and this overhang dropped a little bit here. The ringing, I don't know, it's probably because of the speed change. But all in all, it looks good. So let's assemble the scraper. We got magnets here. This is the blade. And this is a scraper. So this is how it goes together. I thought this piece would go here, but it doesn't. It works. Sweet. Okay, so this was the first print. A success, I think. Again, not printed with bamboo filament and it worked. Okay. I think I'm gonna do a Harden nozzle and harden extruder gears. So, if you want me to do that, just follow me. And also a poop shoot for, for the back. So, this was the Bamboo Lab P1S. I got it at the, at the Black Friday sale. This is what I got. Bye.